A survey found that over 75% of architects and designers use real-time rendering weekly, with 27% using it daily. Artificial intelligence is one of the most exciting developments in this field. As AI capabilities continue to advance, new tools are coming to market that harness these technologies to enhance the design process. That's why we tested many apps and found the best options that can greatly help you. So, keep watching the whole video or else you will miss many important details. Let's get started. First up is Space Designer, a tool that enables architects to effortlessly create and visualize 2D and 3D floor plans. When we first loaded up this platform, we were impressed by how fluid the workflow felt. The 2D top-down view makes it easy to start laying out walls and rooms, just like you're sketching on paper. But here's where it gets interesting. With a single click, you can switch to a 3D view, and suddenly you're walking through the space you've just created. It's pretty nice to see your design come to life like that. One of the standout features we noticed is the customization. Let's say you're working on a kitchen remodel. You can start by dragging and dropping cabinets, appliances, and countertops into place. But what if the pre-made items don't quite fit your vision? No problem. You can adjust the dimensions, colors, and materials of practically everything in your design. We found this particularly useful when trying to match existing furniture or work within specific space constraints. Also, its extensive catalog is a big plus. With thousands of items to choose from, you're not limited to generic placeholders. Want to see how that trendy mid-century modern sofa would look in your living room? Chances are, you'll find something similar in Space Designer 3D's library. And if you can't find exactly what you're looking for, you can always customize a generic item to match your needs. We can see this being helpful for professional designers presenting concepts to clients. Instead of relying on mood boards and swatches, you could create a fully realized 3D model of the proposed design. Clients could take a virtual walk through their future space which makes it easier for them to visualize and approve your ideas. For homeowners, Space Designer 3D could take a lot of the guesswork out of DIY projects. Thinking about knocking down a wall to create an open concept living area? You could mock it up in the software first, see how it affects the flow of the space, and even experiment with different furniture layouts before committing to any demolition. One feature we found particularly clever is the ability to leave notes and arrows within your design. This could be a huge time saver for teams working on collaborative projects. Instead of sending long emails describing changes, you could simply annotate the 3D model directly. Move this wall back two feet, or client prefers a darker wood finish here, that kind of thing. When it comes to pricing, Space Designer 3D offers a range of options to suit different needs and budgets. Let's start with the free option, which is always a good place to begin. The starter plan costs nothing, and gives you a chance to dip your toes in the water. With this plan, you get one project to work on, access to a limited catalog of items, and the ability to export your designs as PNG, JPG, or PDF files. You also get 10 credits for renderings, which could be enough for a small project or to get a feel for the software. Now, if you find yourself needing more, there's the premium plan at $25 per month. This plan builds on the starter and gives you quite a bit more to work with. You can have up to 25 projects going at once, which is great if you're juggling multiple ideas or clients. You also get full access to the catalog, so you're not limited in your design choices. One feature we really like is the ability to export as DXF files, which opens up more possibilities for using your designs in other software. Plus, you get 100 credits per month for renderings, which is a significant step up from the starter plan. One tip we came up with while running around with the software Make use of the versions feature available in the paid plans. It lets you save multiple versions of the same project, which can be a lifesaver when you're experimenting with different design ideas. You can easily switch between versions to compare different layouts or color schemes without having to start from scratch each time. Another useful trick is to use the raised of parameter when placing objects. This lets you accurately position items on top of other surfaces like placing a vase on a table or a TV on a media console. It's these little details that can really bring a design to life and make it feel more realistic. We also found the rendering feature to be quite useful. Even with the free plan, you get 10 credits for photorealistic renderings. These high-quality images could be perfect for sharing your designs on social media or including them in a portfolio. Just be mindful of how you use these credits. You might want to save them for your final designs, rather than using them on works in progress. One area where Space Designer 3D falls a bit short is the ability to edit in 3D mode. While you can look at your design in 3D, 
any changes need to be made back in the 2D view. It's not a deal breaker, but it would be nice to be able to make quick adjustments while in the 3D walkthrough mode. Next up is Macket AI, its ability to generate residential floor plans in minutes. Not months is better than any other app. This could be a real time saver for those initial concept stages. First of all, we really liked its plan generator tool. It's pretty simple to use. You input your room requirements and quickly it spits out multiple floor plan options. For architects working on residential projects, this could cut down on those long hours spent sketching out initial concepts. One thing that caught our eye was the style exploration feature. Say you're working with a client who's having trouble articulating their vision. With this platform, you could quickly generate different style variations of the same floor plan. It's like having a digital mood board that updates in real time. The platform also offers a 3D visualization tool. While it's not as advanced as some dedicated 3D software, it could be handy for giving clients a quick sense of space. You might use it in early client meetings to help them visualize different layout options. We were particularly intrigued by Macket AI's regulatory assistant. Anyone who's ever had to wade through zoning codes knows what a headache that can be. This feature lets you upload PDFs of local regulations and then ask questions in plain language. It's like having a zoning expert on call 24 seven. For small firms or independent architects, this could be a real lifesaver. Instead of spending hours poring over dense legal documents, you could quickly get answers to specific questions. Is this setback compliant? What's the maximum building height in this zone? It's the kind of tool that could help you avoid costly mistakes or delays down the line. The platform also includes a feature for asking questions about materials, costs, and design options. It's not going to replace your years of experience, but it could be a useful reference tool, especially for newer architects or when you're working in an unfamiliar style or region. Now, let's talk about how Macket AI stacks up against Space Designer, another popular tool in this space. Both platforms aim to simplify the design process, but they take slightly different approaches. Space Designer feels more like a traditional CAD tool with some AI enhancements. It's great for detailed 2D and 3D modeling, and its extensive catalog of furniture and fixtures is a big plus. If you're looking to create highly detailed, photorealistic renderings, Space Designer might have the edge. Make it AI, on the other hand, leans more heavily into AI generation. Its strength lies in quickly producing multiple conceptual designs. If you're in the early stages of a project and want to explore a wide range of possibilities quickly, Macket AI could be the way to go. And one area where Space Designer shines is its ability to leave notes to make annotations directly on the 3D model. This could be super useful for team collaboration or client communication. Make it AI doesn't have an equivalent feature, at least not that we could find. On the flip side, its regulatory assistance feature is something Space Designer doesn't offer. For architects working across multiple jurisdictions, this could be a significant time saver. In terms of learning curve, we found this to be a bit more intuitive especially if you're not already familiar with CID software. Space Designer, while highly effective, might take a bit more time to master. Price-wise, both platforms offer free tiers, which is great for trying them out. Make it AI's premium plan is priced annually at $288, which could be more cost-effective for some users compared to Space Designer's monthly pricing model. For smaller firms or independent architects, Macket's regulatory assistant could be a real asset. Instead of maintaining expensive subscriptions to multiple local code databases, you could potentially use Macket to get the information you need on demand. It's worth noting that while Macket is primarily focused on residential design, many of its features could be useful for small commercial projects too. A boutique hotel or a small office building, for instance, could benefit from the same rapid conceptualization and style exploration tools. Another thing to keep in mind is that while Macket can generate designs quickly, it's not a substitute for thoughtful, human-centered design. It's a tool to augment your creativity and efficiency, not replace your expertise. Upcoming is PlanGrid. This construction productivity platform helps architects collaborate with teams, manage blueprints, and track project progress in real time. It automatically renders documents you upload and organizes them without you having to lift a finger. While it won't cover every aspect of construction management, it's got your paperwork needs locked down. Let's talk about how it works. You start by uploading your drawings to the platform. Here's where it gets nice. PlanGrid doesn't just store them, it actually renders them in great detail. We're talking about the ability to zoom in on the tiniest details of your blueprints. It's like having a magnifying glass built right into the software, but it's not just about storing and viewing. PlanGrid lets you mark up these drawings right from the job site. Say you're out there and you notice something that needs to be changed. You can pull up the blueprint on your tablet or phone, Make a note right on the drawing, 
Even add a photo if you need to. No more scribbling notes on a crumpled piece of paper that you'll probably lose before you get back to the office. One feature we found really handy was the ability to place hyperlinks within the blueprints. Let's say you're looking at a part of the drawing and you need to check the specs for a particular component. Instead of flipping through a bunch of different documents, you can just click on a link right there in the blueprint and see that you're looking at the specs you need. It's like your documents are all connected, which makes finding information so much faster. Now let's talk about version control. We've all been in that situation where we're not sure if we're looking at the most up-to-date version of a drawing. PlanGrid solves that problem with its sheet compare feature. You can overlay different versions of a blueprint and see exactly what's changed. This could save you from some major headaches down the line. Just think of catching a discrepancy before it turns into a costly mistake on the job site. Another great aspect of PlanGrid is its punch list feature. For those who might not know, a punch list is basically a to-do list of all the little things that need to be fixed before a project can be considered complete. With PlanGrid, you can create digital punch lists right there in the app. You can tag specific locations on the blueprint with issues that need to be addressed, add notes, even assign tasks to specific team members. It makes it so much easier to keep track of all those final details that can make or break a project. But PlanGrid isn't just about 2D blueprints. It also offers building information modeling capabilities. This means you can look at both 2D and 3D models of your structure. We found this really useful for spotting potential issues before they become problems in the real world. It's one thing to look at a flat drawing, but being able to visualize the project in 3D can give you insights you might have missed otherwise. Let's talk about reports for a second. Safety checklists, site visit reports, all that paperwork that nobody really likes doing, but is absolutely crucial. PlanGrid has digitized all of that. You can fill out forms right in the app, store them, share them with stakeholders. The software even automates sending out reports to the right people. It's like having a personal assistant taking care of all your paperwork for you. Now we know what you're thinking. Okay, this sounds great, but what if we are already using other software for different aspects of our work? Well, PlanGrid has thought of that too. It offers over 70 integrations with other software. We're talking about things like Basecamp, Dropbox, Office 365, Salesforce, the list goes on. This means you can probably incorporate PlanGrid into your existing workflow without having to completely overhaul how you do things. One thing we really appreciated was the mobile version of PlanGrid. It's basically a documents app that's split into two sections, projects on your device and projects in the cloud. This means you can download the projects you need when you have Wi-Fi and then access all that important documentation even when you're out in the field with no internet connection. Everything syncs up once you're back in range. It's a small feature, but it can make a big difference when you're trying to check something on a busy job site. Now, PlanGrid isn't perfect. While it does a great job with document management, it's not an all-encompassing construction management solution. If you're looking for software that can handle things like budgeting, worker management, or marketing, you'll need to look elsewhere or use PlanGrid in conjunction with other tools. But for what it does, managing blueprints and documents, it does it really well. Last up is Enscape. What sets Enscape apart is its easy integration with popular CAD and BIM software like Revit, SketchUp, ARCHICAD, and Vectorworks. This means you can create stunning visualizations without leaving your familiar design environment. we found that this platform can generate high-quality renderings with just one click. This could be great for architects and designers who need to quickly visualize their ideas or present concepts to clients. Just think that working on a complex building design in Revit and with a single click, you're walking through a photorealistic 3D model of your creation. It's pretty nice stuff. One example of where Enscape really shines is during client meetings. Let's say you're presenting a new office layout to a client. Instead of relying solely on 2D floor plans or static renderings, you can use Enscape to give them a virtual tour of the space. Enscape's real-time updates are another feature we think you'll appreciate. When you make changes in your CAD software, they're instantly reflected in the Enscape visualization. This could save you tons of time during the design iteration process. For example, if a client wants to see how different wall colors would look, you can make those changes on the fly and show them the results immediately. Its virtual reality capabilities are worth mentioning too. If you have a VR headset, you can literally step into your designs. This could be particularly useful for spotting design flaws or spatial issues that might not be apparent in 2D or even traditional 3D views. We can see this being especially helpful for complex projects like hospitals or airports, where understanding the flow of spaces is crucial. Also, Enscape's asset library is another feature that could speed up your workflow. It includes over 3,000 high-quality models of furniture, plants, people, and more. This means you don't have to spend time searching for or creating these elements yourself. 
However, it's worth noting that some users have mentioned the library isn't as extensive as they'd like, so you might still need to import custom assets for more specific needs. One tip we've picked up is to use Enscape's custom asset feature. If you find yourself frequently using certain models that aren't in the default library, you can import them and save them as custom assets. This could save you time in future projects. Another handy trick is to use Enscape's view management feature. You can save specific views of your project, which is great for creating presentation sequences or quickly jumping to important aspects of your design during client meetings. If we compare Enscape to Macit AI, both are aimed at architects and designers, but they serve different purposes. Macit AI uses artificial intelligence to generate floor plans and building layouts, which could be useful in the early stages of design. Enscape, on the other hand, focuses on visualizing and presenting designs that have already been created. Depending on your workflow, you might find both tools useful at different stages of your projects. So those are our takes on the best AI tools for architects and designers, each with its unique benefits and features. We hope this video gives you a good idea of the possibilities and helps you make the right choice for your needs. Let us know if you have any further questions or would like to share your thoughts in the comments below.